Hi everyone and welcome to your commentary for lesson number 31. I am not a victim of the world I see. And I love this lesson and I love the first line which says this lesson is an introduction to your declaration of release. Hallelujah, right? <laughs> So this lesson is beautiful because it really helps to illustrate one important fact that we are not taught as children or as adults, which is that the world is not happening to us. The world is happening from us. And that's why this lesson really says, you know, you can escape from the world without and from the world within, and you will escape them together because they are intricately connected. It's just, we could say that the world is like a giant mirror that reflects back to you your thoughts and beliefs. And I want to give you this example. Has there ever been a time in your life when you have been very, very sad about something? Something has happened and, you know, maybe it's a really sunny day, but then all of a sudden, you know, clouds kind of start rolling in. Or maybe it was already a cloudy day and then it starts raining and it wasn't even supposed to rain. Or maybe it's still a sunny day outside, but you turn on the TV and there's, you know, maybe that Alyssa Milano uh, commercial that comes on, you know, with the art, you know, when she's doing with the dogs and she's talking about, you know, in the, in the song that's playing in the background is the arms of the angels. It's because the world is reflecting back to us our thoughts and beliefs. Now, this isn't about changing the form. That's not what this is about. It's about changing your mind because that you have the power to do. Now, of course, you have the power to change, you know, your shirt or the power to change your surroundings. But all those things, once again, where do all those things come from? They come from the thoughts that you think. And that is what we are attempting to begin to realize that we can change. This is why we can never really be victims in the world that we see, simply because the world is a direct reflection of the thoughts that we have. Now, those thoughts are not always conscious thoughts. You may not be thinking consciously about war or famine, poverty, poison, death, but yet they are ideas that exist within your mind. And as we see them, it's all, you know, you're projecting them out there to say, do I still want this or am I ready to forgive it and be willing to see something new, to be willing to see it in a new way? You know, and that's the same thing that goes for the past. You know, if you were hurt in the past, are you going to continue to be that person in the past? Or are you going to begin to step into the present moment? We're not saying that the past didn't happen. We're not saying that those things did not occur. They did occur. We're well aware they occurred. But are you going to let those rule, those thoughts, those beliefs rule the rest of your life? Or are you going to step into the present moment? And that's why this lesson is an introduction to your declaration of release, because you are now realizing that the world does not happen to you, but it happens from you. So thank you so much for joining me for lesson number 31 commentary, and I look forward to seeing you in lesson number 32.